Hey everyone, my name is Dan Shimolinsky. People like to call me Shimmy, and you can too. I am a bassist, sound designer, and composer living in Los Angeles, and we are back checking out another amazing library for sound paint. This is certainly one of the most unique stringed instruments I've ever had the pleasure of playing in this engine. The Bulbul Tarang, otherwise known as the Indian Banjo, is a 15 string instrument commonly found in India and Pakistan that uses multiple sets of strings for different purposes. You have a couple sets used for melodic purposes and a couple used for drone purposes that also kind of serve as resonators for the instrument. The melodic sets have a specified treble string and bass string, both of which you will find in our library. And everything is deep sampled, so you're getting a lot of variance from note to note, which is super important for an acoustic resonant instrument with so many different strings like this. But let's head over to the program section to see this stuff in action. Here's one I did called Chorus Strum. <laughs> Let's check out dual string. This is going to be an octave. Very, very unique sound. We have this part called typewriter. To me, this sounds like the dual string part, but with a percussive element. wonderful little harmonic artifacts of a little bit of a thump. We have treble string. I think this will give you a good understanding of the vibe of this instrument. a good sustained tremolo. Then let's check out the bass string. This is a slightly different timbre. You'll notice you'll get a little bit more of like a string hitting the fingerboard sound. You can really hear it more in the muted parts here. You hear that kind of overtone muted harmonic sound? It's almost like if you're playing kind of thumb muted strings. Oh, listen to that harmonic. And then you do get a tremolo part of that bass string. I don't want to get copyright struck. It stops there. <laughs> Let's check out some of these arps from Marissa. I'm going to try Strum Shine. Love that. Let's try one with chords.
Here's one called strumming pad that I made using four instances of phrase chords here. I didn't do one note stretch or one note same, but I did mess with the tuning a bit. So you're gonna get some subdivisions in the strumming. Then we have a major drone, which is not actually major. It kind of sounds more like a power chord to me, but not having that third in there allows you to make it either major or minor. Then we got this ambiance part, which I think is very, very cool. I like it. get a wide variety of different sounds using the bubble terang heavily treated through effects reverbs delays i love these ambient parts so that's definitely a filter with a lot of high resonance You can get some like really heavenly sounding chords. Here's kind of a house chord stutter style program using the typewriter and the drone part. Here's one I did called Nostalgia. This utilizes the J8X library as well, so this is a hidden gem program. Just that sustain with the vibrato. Love that. This is one I made called Calming Aura. playing on that deep kind of swirly ambient vibe. Here's one from Trolls called Funk Friendly.
to show you this one it's called synth organ and uh, it's just two dual string parts Here's a quick run through of some of the other programs. So that is a quick run through of some of the programs that you get with the Bulbul Terang library. As you can see, this is one that you can take in a multitude of directions. I've said it before with like metallic instruments and big hits, but resonance and just instruments that have inherent resonance are like putty to a sound designer's hands. You get that thing pinging and singing and EQ'd so that it just goes into that delay or that reverb and it becomes something completely different than the core character of the instrument. So I highly recommend picking this up. It is available now on soundpaint.com along with all of our other amazing libraries. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in as always and I will see you next time. This is Shimmy signing out. Take care.